Hi, uh, my name is Jack. My name is McCray. I'm Joe, and we are White Noise, and we are here with... Marisa Anderson. We read your bio that you left college to walk across the country. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? I think it's impossible to say only a little bit, or it's either a very little bit or so much. Uh, yeah, I walked across, I walked from, well, it's complicated when you do a walk with, and there's a lot of people on the walk, then there's also a lot of work on the walk. So I was on the whole walk as far as walking every step of every way. I didn't do that. But the longest single stretch that I actually did walk, I walked through the entire state of California, and I walked from Virginia to New York. That was like the, the stretches. And then in the middle, I was doing some other stuff. But I did that twice. And one walk was going from the West Coast to the East Coast, and the other one was going from the East Coast to the West Coast. You also noticed that your tour dates take you all over the place. Can you tell us how you book these places and what are the heights and lows of the touring as a solo artist? Well, I've been doing this a while, and I know a lot of people, and I had some help also. Um, there's some of the shows I booked through friends that lived somewhere, and I said, hey, I'm coming through. Other shows I booked through more like um, people whose job it is to book shows. And uh, and then other ones were just kind of people that reached out to me and said, hey, I saw that you're, you know, coming to a place that's near where I live. Come here, too. Highs and lows of touring as a solo artist. The highs are that you, I get to, I, meet a lo I make a lot of new friends. I meet a lot of people, and that's nice. And the, f the other high is that I like to play guitar, and I get to do that. It's just my favorite thing to do, so. You know, you can't lose. The lows are long drives, bad food. Uh, I miss my cat. Uh, I miss my garden. <laughs> yeah. How did you develop the different styles of a guitar you play, and how, much, how often do you practice? I practice a lot. Um, sometimes every day for several hours. Um, how did I develop the style? Well... It's a combination of listening to every kind of music that I can l listen to and thinking about it and trying to make sounds with my hands that I hear in my head. And I've chosen not to use a lot of pedals because I want to be able to make things with my hands. That's just a, a, a limiting factor or a philosophy for me. It keeps it simpler too. Um, I've studied with different teachers, uh, if, I, if, there's, if I identify something that I want to learn and I can't figure it out on my own, I'll find someone that knows how to do it and either take lessons or take a class or just ask for help. We are in a band of seventh graders. What advice would you have for me or my friends in terms of becoming good musicians or a good band? I think that being good musicians and being a good band depends on being good listeners. You have to listen to each other play. You have to listen to each other um, like about your opinion, you know, because like, you might have a different opinion. So it's not, being in a band is not just about playing music, it's about arranging music and writing music. And that requires listening to each other as well. And then there's also the kind of listening that's not just with your ears, you know? Like you kind of got to get in sync with your bandmates and, 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 be um, be really present with them and, and open. And I also think it's really important to be kind in communication. We heard your song, Galax, which was inspired by the music festival in Virginia. And we get to play at our uh, own local mu uh, music festival, Midwest Music Festival, next week. And uh, can you tell us about the song and how you feel about music festivals? That song, I'm trying to play every instrument. It's a, you know, because Galax is a fiddle festival and a bluegrass festival, and so when I play that song, which I should have played tonight, um, it's about trying to play every instrument in a in a in a bluegrass band or in an old time band at once. So it's like trying to get the guitar to sound like a fiddle, a banjo, a bass, a guitar, um, and just just 
hearing all of and trying to make it sound like a whole bunch of different songs all playing at once and that's just like my style of arrangement and writing um music festivals are fun that's what i think because you can meet lots of people